Hey everyone, this is Penny and Calvin. You know he's not gonna say hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm in the backyard with, with Penny. He only say bye. I hope you are having a beautiful day. I want to show you our garden before we do the first pick. This didn't document as I planned. The weather in New Jersey hot for three days cold rainy i'm surprised we did get a garden with the weather but we were able to receive one so these tomatoes and peppers and stuff they need to come to come off and uh so i said i was gonna let you see my harvest our harvest before we pick the tomatoes right here they are very easy they are very easy to come off see once you once you touch them see they're really easy and most of these are are sweet they are sweet this one may have a little see see it snaps really easy See, as I said, and then it don't, doesn't want to. I'll come back. But with the tomatoes, if you have to yank them, they say they're not ready, leave them. So this one part came off easy. I don't supposed to be doing. Okay, here we go right here. Yeah, so if you plant the tomatoes, they are only ready when they just fall off. What is this, a vine? Yes. Mm-hmm. So... Here go some bell peppers. Here, these are ready. I'm so I don't understand why this tree is this branch is so small, and this doesn't snap. You have to cut this. It tells you do not pull to get it off. Those have to be cut. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell the aroma. See how big this one is? Let me see if I can get it. Turn this around. Kind of a little, a little dry over here. See how nice and big this one. Take a step back. This one. Mm -hmm. This is nice right here. Ooh, that's nice. One fell down. Oh, is that the one? That's not the one that you was feeding, is it? This one fell down? Yes. See all those little tomatoes? All different types of tomatoes. We had all different types of bell peppers. I know we had red and green. We planted red and green. But, um. This one here was red. That one over there was red? Yes. But it didn't turn red. This one over here turned a little red. But it needs to come, come off. Ooh, let me see, go back over there. See this tomato, I missed this tomato. It's getting crooked. Oh yeah, down here. See, these are ready. They'll come right off. The green one, leave it unless you want to fry some green. I'm not into that. Okay, more bell pepper. We do a lot of bell pepper. Tomatoes, because that's what me and Calvin eat. Oh, it smells so good, everyone. Um, no chemical fertilizer. We just do water and we use fresh vegetables as nourishment. So when we cut up carrots, peppers, and tomatoes, we'll put that, the leftover stuff that you normally throw in the garden, you put that in the plants. This one has a ton of peppers here. A ton. Mm -hmm. See? And um, spider webs, Calvin. Calvin's job is to water. My job is to. Ooh, that's a big one right over there, Calvin. Yes, it is. On the edge. And jalapeno. See all the jalapeno? Calvin, you got spider webs. It's Calvin's job is to water. My job is to plant. And sometimes we eat. Yeah, this had a lot of pepper. I'm not picking because 
What were you pointing to? These are beef steaks. Oh, these are the beef steak tomatoes. Yeah, yeah they're kind of small for beef steak. This one. Yeah, they're ready. See? They're ready to come off. See, they snap off. They snap off really nice when they're ready. If, if they don't snap off, they don't, they're don't. they not ready. You see how small this one is? And then when you look straight over there, at that one, that would look more like a beefsteak tomato. Yes, yes. We probably got several. These are, the tag fell down, but these are pepper. These are spicy. Palando, they are spicy. I like those Calvin does it. I grow them every year. He can just get over it. But he eat them though. I don't know. He probably he just don't like how they look. I think that's what his problem is. More peppers, all the peppers. See? Now big big peppers. Big peppers down here. Okay, let me see if I oh two nice big peppers. One right there and one right there. More tomatoes. Somebody put the two different tomatoes in a pot together. I had help. This one looks like it's a, just my two different tomatoes and a pepper. Who did that? I had help, everyone. This is needs to go because it's. You see that? Peppers and tomatoes. And more big tomatoes you know all this is not ready even though that looks good right there that's not ready that one right there yes. it's not ready that one is because they're not fully the color hasn't changed all the way the jalapeno i thought we had more jalapenos than this oh here go jalapenos right here yeah isn't that um growing kind of these are ready These are ready. Oh, they smell delicious. I do not like that stuff in a jar. Calvin and I, we make our own seasoning for the mason jar, and they'll be ready next year to eat. I usually like to let them sit in a jar for a year before we we put them um, for our tacos and, and salads and anything else we may be having. So, in the video that I never posted, I'll, I'm going to add the video to this so you can see the entire process. Why I have to use the crates. Because in my backyard, I do not have a lot of dirt area. It's just mostly blacktop. And these was my tiger lilies, but... If you know anything about tiger lilies, they own the flower only lasts for a good two weeks and then that's it. But we have a good harvest, Calvin. Sure do. Not too many weeds, which is um good, but I don't know where that spider web came from. Yeah, so see we mostly um black top. That's why we have to we have the dirt going around. But I cannot use the soil because how the sun comes in, if you look up, see we have all these trees and then five o'clock, it gets over that way. So we don't get that much sun. So that's why the plants is in this area because this is where the sun reaches. It will not reach back here on the side of the fence nor across it doesn't reach there we tried that and we it won't grow so this is the only area we can get and it's fine i think it's what about the fifth year yes. fifth year we've been growing so and that's the gazebo right there so yeah so i am going to attach and that's the deck up there 
Mm-hmm. And then we have a um, canopy that goes over, but we don't keep it up unless we out here. Mm -hmm. So just wanted to show you the garden and oh, it smells so good. So I'm going to go. I Hopefully I'll be able to find those videos and attach it after this one so you can see the whole process. We normally get three harvests, but I think this year we only going to get two because of the weather. So we picked today. We should get another one because we have a full month of August and then we get warm in September. But being that the weather was iffy, looks like just two. And I can tell some of the plants didn't grow that high this year. But still, everything worked out fine. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, I'm going to say bye now because I don't know what the other videos I, I taped in april when we went to lowe's did i say bye so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye bye, bye. he say bye <laughs> <laughs> it is funny calvin yeah. everyone i know i said i was going to attach the the plant in the videos after this but i wanted to show you the dish rack Remember, I picked up that from Amazon for Prime Day. It is really nice. That's what it looks like. Although we have a dishwasher. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was showing you my pantry, but it's not junky, but I just have too much food. So, I don't want you to. And there go my mangoes getting ready. To ripen. See, they got the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. So, and here goes the rack that I got from Michaels. Uh huh. And we use that for for bills. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. So now I'll attach the videos for the plant. Start of the planting season. And Calvin just had Lowe's, the nursery. So we have sweet little peppers, bell peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, jalapeno peppers, tomatoes. Heirloom tomato, um, tomatoes. And I want to get everything together for the plant for outside. And two planting tables so we can put so we can put outside of the house. Cause we didn't do no work last um in two years because of the pandemic. So trying to get everything looking pretty. More to come after this. Okay, we made it home. Calvin got the the luxury of unloading so that's for the fence you ready to get to work yes i'm ready to get to work why are you yelling like that <laughs> bye crazy bye everyone i got the first container planted so i have many more it's hard for me to see outside so I'm not going to be doing too much filming. The sun is right over my head. I just wanted you to see what it looks like. Hi everyone, this is Penny and Leanne Creation. How are you today? I hope you are having a beautiful day. I'm planting everyone. This is Red bell pepper sweet. So I have a lot of work to do everyone. So I'm gonna get started. I'm late. It's hot out here. And I'll show you my progress. Let me show you what I planted. Let me move you. 
Okay. Oh, I can't even see. Look at those little nasty flies. Okay, so we use crates because 90 percent of my backyard is blacktop and years ago I was watching some gardening stuff and the farmers was planting on a rooftop in New York and they had crates and what they did they took the the liner and this is the line that you put down when you're planting flowers or vegetables and you don't want weeds. You want to stop the weeds. So this is what this is. So they put the liner in the crate and that's how they plant it. And that's when I got the idea that I can do a garden in my backyard. So this is almost 10 years I've been doing this. So I'm going to get started and I'll come back with some progress soon. Okay?